Hey guys, so let's talk about uh, AI agents in this video. Uh, so what is an AI agent, right? Uh, an AI agent can be understood as a computer program or a system that can perform tasks or make decisions uh, on its own uh, based on uh, its goals and the information it receives. And it is basically designed to be autonomous, meaning it can act independently, uh, it can respond to its uh, environment, and it can take uh, initiatives and it can also interact with other agents or users and it can also do tool calling and API calling and all that to complete the tasks, right? So other important thing is um, an AI agent's workflow uh, consists of three main uh, components. The first one is perception, uh, which takes in um, information and reformats it through prompt engineering. Uh, and then the second component is brain, which uses LLMs for reasoning and planning. And then the third component is the action, uh, which carries out the uh, plan using internal and the external tools. And that's where we um, do um, tool calling and API calling and all that to uh, complete the tasks, right? So as you can see in the image, right? Um, it's it's a simple um, workflow of an AI agent uh, with a simple example scenario. Um, you can see there are basically four uh, steps: uh, the planning step, the execution step, uh, reflection step, and uh, replanning uh, step. Right. So uh, the agent starts uh, by planning the tasks it needs to perform. Um, th this includes defining the specific steps. Uh, or actions required to accomplish the goal and then the execution uh, steps come uh, step comes in where uh, once the plan is established the agent uh, starts executing the tasks one by one uh, using the appropriate tools uh, using uh, like you know uh, it can be tool calling um, api calling and all that and so it calls any tool whenever it is required to complete the tasks um, and then the third one, the, the third step is reflection step, where after executing the tasks, uh, the uh, the agent basically uh, evaluates the outcomes uh, and reflects on uh, the processes um, it has taken over uh, the first two steps. Uh, this involves assessing the effectiveness of the plan. Uh, identifying uh, any issues or the areas for improvement. Uh, and then the fourth step is replanning um, as needed. So based on the reflection, the agent may decide to replan and uh, make adjustments uh, to the original plan uh, so that the whole task is completed properly. So uh, this is a simple agent, uh, AI agent workflow. Uh, and uh, yeah, thanks. Hey guys, so we all know that uh, Langgraph is a part of Langchain. It's actually built on top of uh, Langchain, uh, which is an open source uh, AI uh, LLM framework to help you build LLM pod applications. Uh, so uh, Langgraph is actually a framework that allows developers to build language agents as graphs. Okay, so it's used to create complex uh, stateful applications with um, non-linear flows. Uh, so uh, in this um, uh, video today um, i have a simple tutorial uh, a holiday planner that we are creating using langgraph and uh, let's see how um, how it works so uh, as you can see here is the langgraph uh, workflow um, for a simple holiday planner um, scenario uh, the user wants to go to a destination he wants to know the weather and he has a limited budget so um, and he uh, within that budget uh, he want uh, the system to suggest him um, a very good um, destinations uh, so as you can see, uh, this is how the user flow goes within the uh, land graph. Uh, it first suggests the uh, goes to the destination and uh, checks the uh, weather and also it calculates the cost to go there uh, and then um, it will give him uh, some suggestions uh, where he can go. So we will see this practically through a simple tutorial now. Okay. Yeah, so here is the simple tutorial, uh, the holiday planner. We will first install all the uh, required installations and import them. We will also add open AI API key. And then we define the tools that we want. We will also say the destinations, the type of destinations, the cost involved. Uh, we will also check the weather. We will add 
the weather and then we will also add the tools to the tool node uh, and then um, uh, at the end we will also ask a message like uh, my budget is 400 uh, 4000 and i love mountains uh, suggest me some good destinations as you can see the message from ei the ei agent it will suggest us two uh, things like swiss alps and the himalayas and also estimated cost and uh, the total estimated cost and then the recommended travel plan um, and the total cost which is uh, under our budget that is four thousand dollars 